Hi, welcome to Regan's Chemistry Review. I'm Mr. B. During this lesson, I will review oxidation reduction or redox reactions. Redox is a chemical reaction in which the oxidation states of atoms are changed. Any such reaction involves both a reduction process and a complementary oxidation process. These two concepts involve the transfer of electrons from one substance to another substance. A single replacement reaction is another type of redox reaction. A single replacement reaction occurs when an element reacts with a compound. Consider the reaction between zinc metal and aqueous copper 2 nitrate. The general equation for a single replacement reaction is A plus B C yields A C plus B. However, as you can see from this actual equation, the general equation does not necessarily have to be followed. So it's better to remember that a single replacement reaction occurs when an element reacts with a compound. The oxidation number for any element will always be zero. The oxidation number for any metallic ion will be positive. In this case, both oxidation numbers of the metallic ions are plus two. The oxidation number of any non-metallic ion will always be negative including polyatomic ions. In this case, the nitrate polyatomic ion has a negative one oxidation state. The simplest form of a redox equation is called a net ionic equation. Consider the reaction between zinc metal and copper 2 nitrate yet again. Since the nitrate ion appears on both sides of the equation, it does not actually participate in the reaction process. And ions that do not participate in the reaction process are called spectator ions. These ions exist only to maintain a balance of charge, so they may be eliminated from the equation. Eliminated spectator ions will yield the net ionic equation for the reaction where we simply write zinc metal plus copper 2 cation yields copper metal and zinc cation. At some point you may be required to determine whether or not a single replacement reaction is spontaneous. To determine whether or not a single replacement reaction is spontaneous, meaning that it will actually occur, refer to reference table J. If the symbol for the element in the equation, in this case, zinc, is above the symbol for the ion in the equation, in this case, copper, then the reaction will be spontaneous. Since zinc is above copper on table J, the zinc atom will actually reduce the copper 2 ion. And the reaction will indeed occur, meaning that the reaction will be spontaneous. Oxidation reduction reactions are extremely useful because they may be separated into half reactions. Let's go back to the reaction between zinc metal and aqueous copper 2 nitrate. This reaction involves an oxidation half reaction and a complementary reduction half reaction. During the oxidation half reaction, two electrons are lost by an atom of zinc and are written on the product side of the equation. In the equation for any oxidation half reaction, the electrons will always appear on the product side. During the reduction half reaction, two electrons are gained by the copper 2 cation and are written on the reactant side of the equation. 
So in an equation for any reduction half reaction, the electrons will always appear on the reactant side. These processes must occur simultaneously and will in fact facilitate each other. The facilitation of one process by another process is called agency. The oxidation of zinc metal will cause the copper two ion to be reduced. So zinc metal represents what is called a reducing agent. The reduction of aqueous copper two cation will allow the zinc metals to undergo oxidation. So the aqueous copper two cation will represent the oxidizing agent. Now for some regions practice, consider the following questions. Which ionic equation represents a spontaneous reaction? So to answer this question, you should refer to table J. If the symbol for the atom is above the symbol for the ion on table J, then the reaction will be spontaneous. So the correct answer here is number three, where the symbol for zinc is definitely above the symbol for copper on table J. Given the equation representing a reaction. Which term best describes this reaction? Well, when the electrons are written on the reactant side of an equation, it means that a reduction is occurring. So the best answer to this question is for reduction. Given the balance equation, which type of chemical reaction does the equation represent? Remember, a single replacement reaction involves a reaction between an element and a compound. So the best answer to this question is number three. Given the balance equation representing a reaction, which particles are transferred during the reaction? You must remember, the only particles that are transferred during a chemical reaction will be number one, electrons. And finally, given this balance equation, as aluminum loses 12 moles of electrons, the oxygen will, well, the cool thing about redox reactions is that the number of electrons lost will always equal the number of electrons gained because the processes are simultaneous. So the best answer to this question is number two. The oxygen will gain 12 moles of electrons. Okay, this concludes my review of oxidation reduction reactions. Hopefully this lesson has been helpful. And remember, should you need more assistance, feel free to visit my Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash WPHS chemistry. Thanks for watching and good luck on your upcoming examination. I know you'll do well. Take care.